she got it. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Elon Musk has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year 2021. And people have a lot to say about it. The Person of the Year distinction, though it's not a formal award, is bestowed annually upon an individual that uh, Time Magazine believes has the most influence over the past year's happenings. And in the accompanying article for the edition, Elon Musk addressed a topic that's often associated with him and his various enterprises, cryptocurrency. Um, he said that he doubts the crypto will fully replace fiat currency. He also pushed back against the criticism about his use of Twitter with regards to his posts and their potential impact on markets. He said markets move themselves all the time. Um, Time Magazine described him as a clown genius edgelord, visionary, industrialist, showman, and a cad. And while supporters were quick to celebrate the cover, a lot of critics used the opportunity to point out that uh, Musk's social media behavior, sexual harassment lawsuits, L NLRB investigation, and most recently, a racial harassment lawsuit that is centered on Telsa. Many were very upset that Time would name him Person of the Year and celebrate someone who has made billions off the pandemic. One social media tweeted said, Here's an idea. How about we celebrate real frontline workers instead of a billionaire who increased his wealth by $228 billion during a global pandemic when everyone was dying and broke. Take that. Big boy, there's somebody we haven't heard from in a little while. He's holding on to some footage that he says he believes may be the greatest outcast documentary ever. In a recent interview, he revealed that he has hours and hours of footage from the last outcast tours from 1998 to 2000, whatever. Like he said, hours and hours and hours. He said he's got the greatest outcast documentary never sold, locked in the vault. The footage features 10 years worth of clips including shots of the two of them freestyling in hotels, three stacks playing the keys, big boy walking through the lobby with his youngest son, who was an infant at the time, and some live performances of their less popular tracks. And while they have no plans to drop the documentary anytime soon, big boy did reveal that he does uh, also have an edit of the video, and uh, his hope is to release the footage in a form of a series. He also said that he's got a lot of unreleased Outcast music as well, and asked whether or not there's going to be ever an Outcast reunion in the near future. His response was, you would have to talk to the Lord Jesus himself. Only he knows. <laughs> Big Boy's been on a press run recently to promote the big sleepover, his latest album with Sleepy Brown. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Tuesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.